But the big story on Action News tonight is what else? A record-breaking 100-degree heat sizzling in the Delaware Valley. We broke the old record of 95 before noon today, and it just got hotter, wilting everything in sight. The steamy day forced Philadelphia public schools to close their doors at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Despite the heat, school officials do plan a full day of school tomorrow. Well, for everybody out in the heat, cooling off was a priority, a popular choice, the fountain here at Logan Circle. In New Jersey, it's not only hot, it's downright unhealthful. New Jersey's environmental uh, agency says that ozone levels in the air are dangerously high for the fifth day in a row. So with all the heat, where are they having the hottest time? You guessed it. How about the vet? The Phillies picked this sticky day for a rare weekday day game with the Cubs. It was 120 degrees on the AstroTurf surface at game time this afternoon. But the game went on, and the fans, fanning themselves, cheered the Phils on to a hot win on a hot day. Chris? Mm. Well, of course, Philadelphia wasn't the only place where people were trying to cope with the heat today. Action News New Jersey correspondent Kathy Gandolfo has been spending her day on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. Not a bad deal. And Suzanne LaFranchi has been on the heat beat in Harrisburg. First, let's hear from Kathy at the shore. Quite pleasant today here in Atlantic City. As a matter of fact, it's an absolutely beautiful evening. Several people still out on the beach enjoying this lovely weather we're having here. A lot of people came here today to beat the heat because it was the place to be. I heard it was going to be close to 100, so we're really glad we're down here. It feels really good. The wind was whipping off the 62 degree ocean, creating a very comfortable beach day here in Atlantic City. Might as well just come down and get cooled off by the ocean breeze. It's really refreshing. A place to be on a day like this, right? For many people at the shore today, sitting on the beach was truly an escape from the heat back home. One visitor I spoke with wanted to remain anonymous for a very obvious reason. Well, I'm supposed to be at work, but uh, I took today off because it's going to be 100 degrees and it's cooler here and uh, I need it for my health. The ocean breeze actually caused the beach temperature to drop from 88 to 84 degrees between noon and 2 p.m. For most of these folks, that was good enough. But a few did brave the still chilly ocean water. Water is beautiful. Is it cold? It's gorgeous. Just got to get used to it. Even walking the boardwalk was a pleasant experience today. It's really nice. It's a lot better than it is in Pennsylvania right now. <laughs> Well, I should point out that you didn't have to go very far inland to feel the heat today. About an hour or so ago, we called the weather service in Pomona, which is about 9 or 10 miles from here. And at that time, it was 102 degrees, and that's only about 10 miles inland from here. So, by the ocean tonight is the place to be. Reporting live on the Action Cam from Atlantic City, New Jersey, I'm Kathy Gandolfo. All right, Kathy, thank you. Well, Suzanne LaFranchi joins us now from a place where they go to cool off in Harrisburg called City Island. Suzanne, are you going to gloat at us, too? Yeah, shortly after this report is over.